This is City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pale Lacanio Fori, and you're welcome. Coming up in today's edition, President Ekufuado names Justice Sophia Ekufu to lead Ghana's judiciary. He says he has confidence in her ability to play that role. Stay with us for the details on that story. Now let's bring you our top headline story for today. And President Ekufuado has settled on Justice Sophia Ekufu, a justice of the Supreme Court to be the next Chief Justice of Ghana. If approved by Parliament, she will take over from the current Chief Justice, Georgina Theodora Wood, who retires in June this year. She'll be the second woman to serve in that position, speaking at the seat of government today, the president said he was confident in her ability to lead an independent judiciary. He also said she was a worthy successor to Georgina Theodora Wood. Now, ahead of the official announcement today, many had tipped Justice Jones Doche and Enin Yabua as likely candidates to be picked among the 12 justices of the Supreme Court qualified to occupy that position. For weeks, City FM has carried a lot of stories on illegal mining, popularly referred to as Galamse, and we have launched a campaign against it. Well, the Lands and Natural Resources Ministry has discredited the supposed BNI report, which implicates the military, the Minerals Commission, and some chiefs allegedly involved in illegal mining. Some critics have questioned why the sector minister, John Peter Ameu, has not acted on it uh, but speaking to city news daily he insisted that there are questions about the credibility of that report and until proven otherwise his outfit cannot work with it let's stay with galamse issues because the ochingeni amwetia ofori paying the second is livid over the supposed bnr report which implicates him in the galamse fight and has vowed to sue any person who tarnishes his image. Speaking to some members of the Council of State who have begun a tour of illegal mining sites in the eastern region, the Ochehene called on the law enforcement agencies to return to the Galamse site and flush out the operators. Now the tours to get members of the Council of State were well informed about the devastating effect of illegal mining to enable them counsel the president on it. Now let's take you to the Volta region of Ghana, specifically Alavanyo and Inkonya, because the peace ambassador for these two towns, Clemens Jato, is appealing to Ghana's president, Nana Ekufuadu, and other ministers of state to get more involved to stop the protracted conflict between the people of Alavanyo and Inkonya. His appeal follows the killing of a 15-year-old boy at Alavanyo yesterday. Earlier, three people from Inkonya were also killed by some unknown assailant. Speaking to City News Daily, Mr. Jato said he was optimistic that the involvement of the president will bring an end to what he described as the senseless killings. Meanwhile, the chief of Alavanyo, Todbe Cheje Atakura VII, says the absence of a permanent police post is affecting security there. And that'll be all for City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pio Lacanio Fori. And on behalf of everybody here at City FM, we wish all mothers a happy Mother's Day in advance. Thanks for your time. Second Image International Admissions in Progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us 1243 331 999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.